Alright guys, we got to our destination. We're getting off the boat. Then we're gonna go shopping. See the girl with the flag? That's the tour guide. Whoa! Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are um, looking for somebody's mother. This lady in the green right here, trying to find her mom right now. And look how much people. So hopefully we can find her. So if you saw my last video, um, the lady that we're looking for is actually the lady that I was talking to when we were walking towards the cave from my last video. Same lady who had the heat stroke. Right, to be honest, I never saw her when she got off the, the boat. So it's kind of crazy. in China is no joke because you know you have the language barrier man I'm telling you that's why I always made sure I stuck I stay with the group Karen, Karen how far ahead do you think she would have went without realizing she's not with us back all the way to the boat I don't know what to believe. I never saw her. I saw, no, I don't know. I was one of the first one out. But I know she was sitting behind us. But she was so. being I don't what color. I'm trying to remember, Kevin, what was she wearing? Uh, don't know. Oh boy. <laughs> we did find the lady's mom. And now, we took a golf car over into another air shopping area and um, we're gonna do our shopping now we're gonna be here for about 40 minutes take a look you see it this is just like Machu Picchu we have the streets with the hillside town see that's what she just said, said it's like Machu Picchu in Peru Machu yes so temperature right now it's not that hot but it's a bit humid so just walking past all these shops and stores right now let me just give you guys a a nice look at what I'm looking at when I'm walking you see the mountains right behind it This is absolutely amazing. Got a very good country here, man. Very nice. Yeah, many people stay here for the whole week. Wow. I go biking. Wow. Beautiful. Yeah, if I forgot to mention, we are in Guilin. We're still in Guilin. So if you look, you see some really nice um, mountain peaks. In the background, Very you know, that's all a signature of Guilin. That's what makes Guilin so special. It was built in 1965. Okay, yeah. ladies and gentlemen, in this scene, we're at the uh, the tea plantation. It's like a huge a farm where you get all the different type of teas, you know. And this guy, he's telling us all about the teas and we're going to go through all the process of, uh, you know, from when they pick the tea to when they put it in the container. Unfortunately, you're not going to get to see the whole thing, but this is what I have I captured. And I also captured some still shots because I stopped videoing um, during this whole um, part of the tour. But I took a lot of pictures. 
Those hats that you see us with um, serve two purposes. One is to protect us from the sun, and the other, it serves the purpose of collecting the tea leaves. Wow. Check out that scenery. Very nice. You're looking at the tea farm. That's all the teas out there. You know, beautiful, man. The light. The light color can attract insects right there in evening and they're killing them by electric. Mm -hmm. And they are here, the yellow paper shaft right there, stick it there and oh. then die by nature. Uh, only mm -hmm. one organic tea garden in Guangxi province. And a tea farmer picking tea like you hear the birds in the background? Man, I never heard any birds like that in my life. This one. Only one tea tip, tea bath for white tea. Oh, white tea. The okay. best tea here, the, the best white tea, only pick it in spring, not summer, not autumn. In Asian time, white tea belongs to emperor. It is emperor tea. The best tea here because there are more protein in it, white tea. So we're learning that there's levels to tea. It's not just tea, there's levels to the teas. For high quality green tea, unfermented tea, no fermentation. And we're picking tea like this. One tea tea, tea bath, two tea leaves. Okay, here are some still shots that I took while at the tea farm. Um, you know, I actually didn't get a chance to film too much at the tea farm so that's why I'm showing you guys these these stills right there you see they're showing us how they roast the tea leaves right after that we went into this room where we were taught about traditional Chinese tea ceremony that was pretty cool you know yeah so right here is the tea store and those are the items for sale in the tea store. Alright, so right here we are at the Guilin Railway Station. I'll tell you, the station was packed. All of us packed up in there. And they were showing videos um, at the station warning people not to carry con um, contraband or else you will go to jail so right here we're on the train the bullet train getting ready to take off we actually went up to like 222 kilometers per hour so here i am you know taking pictures of the scenery very nice green lush scenery of Guilin. I'm telling you, Guilin was the most beautiful place in China that I've been to. Alright, so now the train is rolling and, um, you know, just admiring the scene. You know, some of these buildings actually look like projects in the United States. Like the PJs. Very nice uh, scenery, though. Very green. That's one thing I could say about Guilin. Very, very green. Yeah, if you look in the background, you can see a lot of farming, a lot of farm. You see rice farm right there. Just a lot of vegetable farming going on. And look, in the, look in the background. You see the mountains? You see that those jagged type mountain formations? That's what makes Guilin so different, so special. Okay, so... Here we are, we're in Hong Kong. We got there at night and, um, you know, just admiring the scene. 
and um, noticing that it's very very westernized in Hong Kong you're gonna see all the stores that you used to in the in the west in Hong Kong so a 7-eleven they got McDonald's just everything going on at that time and you know everybody was excited uh, the other one is right here. In the, uh, no, in the All right, so here are some still shots that I took, uh, showing you that they had McDonald's, you know, all these stores. It was nice. It was a nice vibe, actually. I was very surprised to see 7-Eleven, you know, and their 7-Eleven is very small. There it is. And there's Starbucks, you know, Starbucks again. It was really, really, a, I mean, Hong Kong, when you're in Hong Kong, you actually felt like you're back in the United States. What you just saw was the hotel. So now um, we're on the bus, and um, this is the next day, next morning, and we're heading to our first excursion, which is um, to a place called the Peak. It's the highest mountain, the highest point in um, Hong Kong, where you'll be able to overlook the entire city. Uh, you stay here for a very short time, and uh, you don't have time to see the city. The Canton City is a big city, one of the largest cities in China. Population in this city is more than 15 million people. But uh, the city of Guangzhou, also called Canton in English, is the capital city of Guangdong province. The Guangdong province is the largest province in China. The total population in the province is 105 million people. I can say every 13 people in China, one is living in Guangdong province. The Guangdong and Canton city, the two places are very special place because in the Qing Dynasty. All right, here are some more still images. Um, these are images of Hong Kong that I have no idea how I didn't get to record this because I, I was looking for the videos, but I couldn't find the videos. So here are the still image of our journey to the peak. So we're just going to be going straight up this mountain. You know, very beautiful. Hong Kong is very beautiful, especially the um, when you're out of the city. Very beautiful. Oh yeah. So now we're going up, up, up. See, we're getting higher up, and you get you're getting a chance to see more of uh, Hong Kong. Look at that! Wow, this is from the peak, guys. Now we're at the peak. I didn't get a chance to film the peak, guys. I only was able to take sk still shots. I don't know what what was going on in my head at the time. Maybe I was getting fatigued. But this is the peak. Very beautiful. It's a major tourist attraction for everybody who's been to Hong Kong. I've been there before in 2005 and so you know maybe that's why I didn't video. There I am videoing 7-Eleven again. Every time I saw 7-Eleven I took a picture. Alright so now we we're back down um, in Hong Kong now. We, we left the peak and now we're back um, at the um, in the city of Hong Kong. And so what you're looking at is we're on a boat. We took a boat cruise. Just a little boat over to this um, floating restaurant. That's what you're looking at, the floating restaurant. I was able to, to do some videos for this, so hang in there for one minute, you'll be able to see the videos. But these are some beautiful still shots of the river right in Hong Kong oh yeah hopefully you guys are enjoying this as much as I did 
And here we go, here's the footage. Ladies and gentlemen, we are right now in Hong Kong on the floating restaurant. We're heading over to the floating restaurant. And uh, so we're on this boat right here. And um, it's fun. We just came back from the peak. Are you having a good time, Karine? I'm loving it. Yeah, she's loving it. That's a big floating restaurant. For all of you guys that have seen the movie Enter the Dragon, the Bruce Lee movie Enter the Dragon, um, that scene when they were on the boat going over into Hong Kong was filmed right here. And um, you know, I just kept humming that that theme song from the from the film. Okay, ladies and gentlemen so we down here in the uh, what do you call this kind of the plaza um, in Hong Kong down here by the beach it's very nice it's, yeah we're by the promenade it's very nice yeah it's very nice down here and, um, but it's as uh, my wife just said it's freaking expensive just like that guys the China tour was coming to an end right now we're just on our way to the airport everybody's tired drained from constant you know moving around going from place to place after a while you, you kind of get fatigued you know but that was it guys that's it for my China tour series. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. You know. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. Cuz I'm going to have a lot more videos to put out there. You know. But um thank you very much for watching this video. This is a old video. This video is from 2017, summer of 2017. But it was filmed with the Canon G7X PowerShot 2 um, camera. So I'm actually glad that I invested in that um, brand of camera and that quality of camera because you can see you cannot tell you cannot tell that this was filmed a long time ago. It's better than any iPhone. If I had used an iPhone camera back then, it would have looked dated. But using good quality camera especially when you're going on a you know a big tour like this it's always best to invest in a good camera guys yep so the next one that i might share i i, I did go to brazil um i think the year before that so i may have some footage i'll have to put something together um, got some other footage I could put together, but stick with me, guys. You know, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and um, whenever I go anywhere and I find it interesting or whatever is going on, you'll be able to get a chance to see to see it. Thank you.